Between the snow-covered mountains, deep in Gangwon province in South Korea, sits one of the country's hottest spa crazes. And we mean literally hot. My name is Seo Jongwon. I live with my parents and I live in Gangwon. Charcoal played an important role in Korean culture. Its use dates back over 2,600 years to heat homes, cook food, and ward off bad energy. So Jong-won and his father make charcoal from oak wood that is unique to this region. It's an arduous process that starts and ends with kilns or giant ovens. Now there are 38 kilns. 저희 같은 가마에서 수술 만들 때 온도가 1200도에서 1400도까지 올라가거든요. 가마를 이용해서 수술 굽는다고 보시면 돼요. 서서히 식으면 이제 사람이 찜질할 수 있는 온도가 150도에서 300도로 기준을 맞춰 놓고 가마를 이제 오픈을 해서 찜질 가마가 되는 거죠. 그게. The kilns function as a traditional Korean sauna, a treatment that has been happening for hundreds of years. Customers pay a small fee to spend time sweating out their toxins in the hot rooms. And a national attraction it will stay. So Jang Wan has no plans of slowing down the family business. 아버님이 이 일을 해오신 지가 이제 오십 년. 저도 이 일을 한 지가 온 이십 년이 넘었어요. 합해면 칠십 년. 사명감이 있어가지고 앞으로도 뭐 내가 아닌 우리 아들도 이거를 받아서 이어갔으면 좋겠는데 그 바람이죠. Two words, snail slime, snail slime. Snails love their own slime, which is actually their mucus. It helps them defy gravity and move at a snail's pace. Back to you. But humans also love snail slime for its nutrient-rich properties. This began thousands of years ago when ancient Romans and Greeks gave snails free reign to roam their faces. No more redness, no more wrinkles for our classical ancestors. Molte persone invece che cosa fanno? Mangiano lumache vive proprio per problemi intestinali. That is kind of off topic, Simone. But now that you're here, I think we should segue to your introduction. Mi chiamo Simone Sampo ed estrago Gobaba per uso cosmetico. He's being modest. Simone is an inventor and a snail savior. Before he invented his snail slime extraction machine, the only way to collect mass quantities of snail slime resulted in the snail's death. Not anymore. Per sviluppare questo macchinario ci abbiamo impiega impiegato nove anni. Inizialmente mi davano del pazzo di un macchinario che potesse estrarre la bava delle lumache e non ucciderle. We begin in the fields. After munching for 14 months, snails are plucked, washed and brought to Simone's machine. The Mueller One. Sidebar, snails secrete slime for three reasons. To move, out of stress, and for pleasure. Simone calls his machine a spa for snails because it pleasures them with a secret spray to the point that they secrete a lot of slime. 
in un'ora si riesce a estrarre bava oltre i 3 kg, 3 kg e 200. If you don't talk metric, I'll translate. That's as much as 7 pounds of slime from one batch. After that, the slime is extracted, dehydrated, rehydrated, and then refined here for use in cosmetics. Here it is being bottled, and then it's off to your face. Io penso e voglio fare un'affermazione forte che l'Italia fino ad oggi è stata famosa per pizza, pasta, ma da oggi sarà anche famosa per la bava di chiocciola metodo Kerasco. Best slime in the world. Simone, if being bold is wrong, we don't want to be right. This bottle, this brand. Unique and busy, yet simple and standard. You might have seen it, you might even use it. But have you ever read it? The Dr. Bronner brand is the top selling organic soap company in North America. And if you look closely at the label, you'll see quotes from Jesus, Einstein, George Washington, you name it. You'll also read a lot about the moral ABC. The brainchild of Dr. Emanuel Bronner, the founder of Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps. Born into a Jewish family in Germany, he immigrated to Milwaukee in 1929 and worked as a consultant for various soap companies. But his real passion was philosophy. He had a vision for world peace, and he called it Moral ABC. Its mission read, In all we do, let us be generous, fair, and loving to Spaceship Earth and all its inhabitants. For we're all one or none, all one. Basically, he wanted people to set aside their religious and ethnic differences to find common ground. During World War II, Bronner began lecturing and spreading his vision for peace and unity, and he started drawing crowds. In 1947, during one of his lecture tours, Bronner was arrested for giving a public speech without a permit. He wound up in a mental institution. He escaped, and he made his way to Southern California, where he declared himself a doctor, rabbi, and alleged that he was Einstein's nephew. It was during this lecture tour that Bronner began giving his family soap away. He quickly realized people were only coming for the free soap and leaving before the lecture. So Bronner started printing his scriptures and sticking them onto the bars. And just like that, Dr. Bronner's magic soap was born. Uh Dao Liao, or knife therapy, started 2,500 years ago in ancient China as an alternative method to traditional medicine. We know that Taiwan has a very interesting culture of healing. It's been a long time. In Taiwan, the people who use Dao Liao are very few. Dao Liao's benefit is that it helps you to treat your pain, pain, and pain. Angelina Zhao has been practicing and teaching knife therapy for 14 years. Angelina Zhao has been practicing and teaching knife therapy for 14 years. 你是用一般的疗法,一般的拿着刀去做的话,你敲错位置,它就是痛,而且它会受伤,甚至流血。那你有经过特殊的教育,再加上你有指令,你不会全身帮它做完,你会知道气孔,然后从哪里下刀,身
在台湾按摩的风气是很兴盛的，我们台湾人是很愿意去尝试各种不同的方法。现在是二十一世纪，我们的科技这么发达，那为什么我们还要用到渊源两千五百年来的刀疗？它是一个很好的医学辅助的另外一种选择。你会发现说，哎，我们古人的这些智慧，原来你身上这些气门，所谓的小宇宙，讲的 aura 很健康。